No amount of tripping is going to make us forget the realities on the ground. The residents of Katima Mulilo are fed up with the false promises made to them by their town council due to a reeking stench of an open rubbish dump located near centres of learning. We spoke to the centre manager for VTC Zambezi, Richard Kambinda. That's a matter that has been coming for the past four years, five years now. And um, it has been of great concern to us as an institution. And not just um, for the resident staff that stay in the proximity of the centre, but also for our trainees that come and train there, over 700 trainees that come there early in the morning, and also our guests because we also have a training hotel. And we have guests that overnight there, eh? and we see eh, for the health of those that we accommodate in that area. And we are very, very close to the dumping site, and we are, I believe, under 600 meters from the dumping site. Yeah. Okay, great. So it's quite a nasty problem that we have. We already spoken to the um, mayor, and she says they are making plans to move it. You, you, well, that that has been coming. We have been discussing that. We have had meetings with town council. We have had meetings with the governor, and the governor has summoned them to come to the meeting. And those promises have been coming. Um, at some stage, we had to involve the Ministry of Environment. And last year, the environment gave an order to shut it down. And I'm actually surprised to see that until now it's still operational. The mayor says she's on top of this situation. Uh, yeah, it's uh, really a, a problem for the, for the council. As the, the, the community members are complaining, or maybe say, uh, those who are living nearby the dump site, like the University of Namibia, Zambezi Vocational Training Center in Makaravan East. It's a problem for us again, the place where it was relocated uh, from the beginning is not suitable because it was within the town land, whereby we had some land to be allocated to people, and the maintenance was really there, but very expensive. You know, Katima has grown so much that uh, the inhabitants now they are plus minus 30,000. So the dumping also is growing, the area is also growing, but now we had last year a, a concern from the environmental commissioner uh, who said that we should close the dumping, the dump site. Uh, we did look for a site, but unfortunately where we went, it is in another constituency whereby we have to negotiate with the councillor for that constituency whereby we can uh, shift it our dump site to that area. As we are speaking now, we have a management plan in place which will allow us to relocate to a new site and which the place has to be announced in, in due course because we, we, we are surrounded by constituencies. It's like Vindu could be surrounded by, by farmers, so you have to negotiate and see a way forward. Since we are all fighting for one thing, service uh, delivery to our people and also to 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 to, to allow the, the the conducive environment for all our our inhabitants so uh as as we are talking now it's still like that but we are trying we had a person who is assisting us just to take things up to the top not only to be scattered around but we have plans for that it should be relocated somewhere